Hi guys, it's Jess. I'm back with a new tutorial for you. Um, this is a drawing that I did by hand of a stallion, just pencil and paper, scanned it into my computer and then I started to work on it in Photoshop and here I'm using um, just your normal soft uh, brush that I use to outline and I wanted to continue in Photoshop as I felt I would have more freedom to make uh, creative choices and edit as I felt necessary. So right now I'm just outlining the horse. It wasn't a finished drawing, it was just sort of the beginnings and then I thought okay now it's time to do some magic in Photoshop. So I started out just by outlining and then putting in some shadow. Um, I started out as just wanting a rearing horse and then decided that it might be fun to make this horse a pegasus. So I found an old drawing of mine and just basically put in the wings. I just grabbed it, copy and pasted it, put that on a separate layer, made it very opaque and then did a layer on top and started drawing in the wings. And it was just sort of a basic outline for me to put in some wings and then I just freehanded it over the top, adding a lot more dimension, a lot more kind of rough lines. I didn't want it to look too perfect and I had it on a separate layer in case I didn't like it and wanted to delete it. It's always easier to add extra layers and delete it later and not have it all on one layer and then you know try and erase later. So I liked it in the end, I ended up keeping him as a pegasus. Um, right now I was just drawing in the feathers and getting that all um, sketched in. After I had this done, I just took the same brush and I started putting in shadow. Here I tried to put in a second wing, ended up going back to that original drawing and using that wing as a template. Um, again on a separate layer that I ended up deleting and just drew over the top of it to put in the wing that was behind the other. Then as you can see right here I'm just sort of freehanding it. Um, it was just easier to kind of work with something I'd already done and I ended up really liking how it turned out. So after I had done the wings I was going to do some shadowing and I used a same brush, just um, grey tones to start with, like in medium tones, and then um, went into shadows and highlights. Here I'm just outlining a bit more, getting some hair, tail, tail hairs just with a nice thin brush, and feathers on the horse's legs. Now I started to put in the shadow blocking in colour and yeah in the shadows there. Very rough. I blocked it all in first and then blended it with the smudge tool. Um, after I had put in all the mid-tones and some shadow I went back with some highlights but I just wanted to block in the general shape of the horse first. It looks pretty rough right there but <laughs> it looks better as it gets blended in. Uh, this was also on a separate layer in case I didn't like it. Um, I wanted to make him a pretty dark pegasus so his wings got coloured as well. And then I started to work on the inside of the wing so it would look like it had more depth and dimension to it. And this was very kind of uh, flat, really. I didn't add texture until the end. I ended up putting um, some textured paper behind this painting when I was done and grouped it all into one group and put on a texture as a vector mask. As you can see, I've done many times before in other videos. I ended up using a pastel paper as texture. But right here, I just wanted to get the painting done first and then add texture at the end. There I used the levels to kind of change the intensity of the shadows. You don't always have to use your paintbrush. You can use 
go to Command L and use Levels to make that a little bit stronger. Here I'm putting in a highlight with kind of an off-white and I'm using a pastel brush here, blocking it in first, then going back and blending it. And now with shadows, same brush, that pastel, it's kind of a thick brush, has a bit of texture to it. It's not any special brush, you can find it in all Photoshop CC. Adding a bit more shadow and dimension. Almost done now. Lots of different layers here. Oh, I decided I wanted the wings a bit lower on the back. That's the great thing about Photoshop. You can just grab it and drag it down. Couldn't do that with traditional. A bit more shadow. Then I ended up adding that texture. And there it goes. Hope you enjoyed it, you guys.